Hey everybody, Scottyboy99902 here again, with some more fun random LPs of some arcade games. Now recently, I got myself an N64 emulator, so I'm gonna show that off right now. Um, this is the game that I found for the N64, which sadly is for the most part lacking in good, solid arcade fighting games. This was one that I was able to find, though. It's called Flying Dragon. It's really terrible, but fun in some sort of terrible way. So I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay, so there's... The weird thing is, there's like a million different modes you can play in. There's this SD mode that you can play in, where it's almost set up like a... Uh, like, um... Like an RPG, sort of, and you can equip stuff to your characters. It's, it's, it's interesting. I might focus on that some other time. But for right now, we're going to focus on the actual fighting mode of the game. So we're going to click on that. Um, and then you can change all the different battle modes. I tried both 2D and 3D, but it really doesn't make much of a difference. It's basically the same thing. I think the only difference is in 2D, they can't sidestep. Um, and then we're going to change the difficulty. Because one problem with this game is that it's... I don't know, maybe this is just me being me again, but I had a very hard time getting past, like, the second or third person in this in the easiest difficulty. So, I need to put it on easy so that way I don't kill myself. Okay. So then we're gonna go to circuit mode, and we're gonna pick our character. So there's several different characters you can pick from. There's this guy, Ryuhi, who's, like, the main character, the Goku character, basically. There's this guy called Hayato, who kind of makes me think of Kurama from... Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. There's a stereotypical chick character. There's some mysterious BA dude. And then there's a ninja. There's this chick and then an old guy. We're gonna play as this dude, uh, Shoryu. I don't know, he just seemed pretty cool to me. So that's who we're gonna play as. And for the first battle we fight this chick. <laughs> so the controls for this game are pretty basic. You use, uh, A to punch. And you can, you know, jump and stuff. Uh, B's kick. At least I think that's how it is, I don't know. I'm pressing X and C, I can't remember which is which, but... Basically A and B, respectively. Um... And... I don't know. There's a little bit of blood in it. Nothing like Mortal Kombat, but you can kinda see if there's like a pink inflection when you punch the characters. I'm actually doing pretty good right now, typically I don't do this well. Cause like I said, this game is really difficult for some strange reason even on the easiest difficulty, which is kind of sad. <clears throat> but yeah, I like this guy because he somewhat reminded me of Trunks from DBZ. I don't know. His outfit's kind of cool looking. And I didn't want to play as a token Goku character, so I picked him instead. <clears throat> and I also assume that there are special moves and combos and junk that you can do, but because just winning itself is difficult enough, I didn't really bother to try and teach myself any of the combos. I'm just focusing on beating up the enemy right now. Um, you can also block, but one of my problems with fighting games is I typically don't block at all. I just beat the crap out of people as fast as I can, and as you can see right now, that's getting me nowhere. There. I think I just blocked right there, I don't even know what button was I pressed. So as you can see, I'm terrible at this game. Oh, And it makes me sad, there really aren't any good fighting games for the N64 other than Smash Bros. and one other game that I'm going to show you after I play this one. Oh, see if I can at least beat this chick. No! Okay, I almost beat her. We got one more round. See if we can... Take this then. Take it home! Oh! She keeps countering all my attacks. I'm basically just butt mashing right now. I'm not using any sort of strategy at all. And button mashing sometimes works, but sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on the game mechanics. Probably one of the most frustrating games for me for people to button mash in is Soul Calibur, because no matter how good you are or what kind of strategy you use, people can always win by button mashing in Soul Calibur if they so desire, which really ticks me off, because I spent a really long time learning the mechanics of that game and learning all these strategies and combos and stuff, and every time I play my little brother, he beats me because all he does is pick the guy with the biggest sword and button mash. 
and it's really irritating. Okay, come on, just die. No, 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 bad. Okay, I win. <clears throat> Barely. That was pathetic. And I guess I never managed to dub over with English, which is okay, because probably would have been bad. Okay, so now I get to fight this guy, who is a robot ninja, by the way. So I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Watch this. See how when you hit him, it makes a metallic sound? It's because he's a robot. <clears throat> and as you can see, I'm getting absolutely destroyed here. This isn't even fair by any stretch of the imagination. But for some reason, he still bleeds like everyone else, even though he's a robot. Maybe he's an android. I don't know. Again, with the DBZ references. And he just used a sword. Don't know how he did that. This guy's pretty cheap. Okay, sure do. Beat this guy up. And he just broke my arm. So now I'm dead. <clears throat> okay, so we got one more round. Um, I'm probably gonna lose this. Not gonna lie. I'm really losing any and all patience with this game. Because it's just so awful. And again, like I said, it's just really disappointing because a lot of the really good fighting games that were released like, for the PlayStation 1, weren't released for the N64. The only two I can think of are the Mortal Kombat games. Like, other than that, there really weren't any good fighters. That, well, Smash Brothers, but Smash Brothers is like its own game genre. Though you can't really call Smash Brothers a fighting game in some respect, simply because it's become so big. <laughs> and it's really not a traditional fighting game, which is probably why it became so big. Okay, let's see if I can somehow win just this one round. Oh, he broke my arm again. Not cool, dude. Not cool. See, that's the other problem. He keeps blocking everything. Okay, so I lose that one by default. So I lose. Yeah, we're definitely not going to continue just because I'm bad at this game. And it's really just kind of a horrible game all around. So we're going to stop. Yeah, so that's Flying Dragon. Pretty crummy. I'd give it maybe a 3 out of 10. It's really only redeeming quality being the variety of characters. You know, the controls aren't bad. For its time, the graphics are okay. Um, but, you know, it's really not that good of a game. So yeah, that's Flying Dragon. Um, I'm going to stop with this one. And then... I'll show you another game that's much, much better that was a fighting game for the M64. I already kind of talked about it a little bit. Okay, so yeah, that's, again, Flying Dragon, everybody. I'll be back in a bit.